Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Ruby, I live in New York City and this is my YouTube channel. Fall is here and so are the makeup trends and today I'm very excited because I'm gonna walk you through my take on the latte makeup trend. I wanna say this started actually towards like the end of summer but I think it's a very fitting trend for the fall. There's a ton of different ways to describe latte makeup, a ton of different takes on the trend. When I think of latte makeup, I just think of very like monochromatic bronzy makeup. Really like flawless skin that's bronzed, a little glowy, like subtle glow, and same for the eyes. A very like sultry, kind of smoky vibe with just a little bit of glow as well and then a very simple lip. And as always, I will have every single product that I used linked down below for you to check out if you're interested, no pressure, but I do think it's very helpful to include links, so those will be down below. I'm obsessed with the way that this makeup turned out. I think it's like so fall and so fun. So I'm gonna keep this intro short and sweet. If you wanna see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so starting with a bare face, I did go pretty minimal with the skincare today only because makeup wise, we are gonna be doing a semi glowy base. So I wanna make sure that my skin is prepped but not too hydrated, if that makes sense, because the products we're gonna be adding on top of my skincare is definitely gonna help add to that like hydration glowiness. This look definitely revolves around a lot of bronzy products. So for primer, I feel like this is gonna be the perfect way to start this look. This is from Luna Aster and it's their Real Glow Bronzing Primer. Luna Aster is one of my current like beauty brand obsessions. They sell them at Blue Mercury and they are truly one of the best like clean beauty brands I've ever found. I feel like a little bit definitely goes a long way. Um, so I'm just kind of evenly dispersing it on to my skin. Now I'm gonna blend it in with my fingers. Okay, up next we're going in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter, basically like the drugstore dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I wanted to make sure that this tutorial included both like kind of higher end options and also some drugstore products as well. This is in the shade number three. Taking one of my favorite Amazon products ever. This is the Paw Paw Beauty Blender. It is the softest beauty sponge you will ever find. And this is just what we're using to blend everything into the skin. I absolutely love this product. Both the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and the e.l.f. Halo Glow. And I definitely find that at least on me, this does give like a little bit of coverage so that that means we're gonna have to go in or we get to go in lighter with the foundation which overall I think is really nice so I feel like when it comes to latte makeup that like underpainting is key so we're gonna go in a little bit heavy at first this is kind of like a trust the process bit Charlotte Tilbury um, contour wand it's iconic for a reason however rather than dotting it onto my face and then blending it out I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand again just so that everything like disperses much more evenly I'm gonna dip my um, like contour brush into the product and then I'm going to apply it with a slightly heavier hand and again this is under painting meaning that the majority of this is going to be covered up with foundation so you want to go in a little bit heavier just so that the foundation doesn't cover it up entirely and the trick is I mean I'm sure that you guys have seen like underpainting tutorials you know all over the internet but the trick is to really like kind of only like halfway blend it in the lines are still supposed to look slightly more hard because again, then you're going over with foundation, which is going to cover up quite a bit of the product. Let's get into foundation next. I am so excited to finally feature this foundation in a YouTube video. This is the new Euphoria Date Night Foundation. Oh my God, this stuff is so good. It is easily one of the best foundation launches of the year. This is in the shade 245, which is like the perfect kind of light, medium, neutral shade for me. I'm giving it a good shake because again, this is like a skincare kind of like serum based foundation. Coverage on this is fantastic. You really only need a little bit and it goes such a long way but it still looks incredibly natural so I'm being very careful to just do like half a pump to start. I'm taking one of my favorite brushes from Real Techniques. You guys have seen me use it all the time for bronzer but I have another one that I specifically use for my foundation when I'm doing underpainting so I'm just swirling the product into the brush and then I'm just going to swirl it onto my face and the way that these bristles just like beautifully disperse the product and it looks so skin like. I absolutely love underpainting in general but especially with this brush I feel like it just takes it to the next level and it's a drugstore fine which makes it even better and hopefully you all can see but by swirling it on 
rather than patting or stamping. It's giving just the perfect amount of light coverage, but it's not fully covering up the underpainting that we did. Before concealer, we're actually going to go in with a little under eye brightening product. This is a great drugstore find. This is the Milani like pink under eye corrector. Holy crap, where has this been all my life? I really don't know. I do wish that the applicator was a little less messy, but honestly, for as fantastic as the actual product is, I'm choosing not to complain. It really does just help like brighten up the under eyes, smooth the under eyes. It also does give like a little bit of coverage. It's pink, but not too pink. It is so good. Going in with a staple for concealer today. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Custard. I'm using this as both the spot concealer for my face, but I'm also gonna use it underneath my eyes only because I need like just a touch. And I feel like if I was to go in with a brightening concealer right now on top of the brightening product from Milani would be a little bit too much for this look. Not in general, because you guys know I love a good bright under eye, but I feel like for latte makeup, you gotta kinda keep everything like close to the same tone. And that's it, that's the look. No, I'm just kidding. Now we're gonna go in and blend everything out. <laughs> So, so nice. It's glowy, but it's not like texture emphasizing. Still very much looks like skin. I feel very good in this makeup. For powder, we're going drugstore with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. You only need like the tiniest bit of this powder, so I really make sure to tap off like as much excess as possible. And then we're doing just a touch underneath the eyes and around the nose because I do wear glasses on top of my nose as well. A little bit on my chin because I'm very expressive and my makeup always creases there. And then just right in the center of my forehead. So now let's continue to work on the face. At first I was like, do I want to do eyes next? But honestly, the products that I'm using have like zero fallout. So I feel like we're cool to continue with the face. Patrick Ta little bronzer duo um, in the color, I think it's She's Statuesque. Yes, this is in the shade She's Statuesque. This duo is one of the most perfect like bronzing products I've ever used. Um, obviously we already did some underpainting with a cream product. So I'm just going to use the powder in the duo um, to warm up the face even more. I really Really like this bronzing duo especially for the fall when you want to warm up the face but you don't want it to be too warm this is like the perfect neutral duo almost leaning a little bit on the side of cool but not to the point that it's gray it's just not orange like it's the perfect neutral undertone I personally really wish that more companies uh, more makeup brands rather would come out with like neutral bronze tones I also think this powder formula is really beginner friendly I mean whether you're a beginner or whether you're like an actual makeup artist but it's just so easy Easy to work with it's so blendable it's very hard to like mess up so I feel like if you're just dipping your toes into makeup or into bronzer it's fantastic the one thing that I see changes a lot with latte makeup is people have either been adding blush or skipping blush entirely and just going with bronzer and maybe like a little bit of highlight I personally feel very incomplete without blush um, and I like the way that it ties it all together for this look so I am gonna be adding a little bit of blush but we're gonna keep it very like neutral tone a little bit more like the brown side I'm using Using this palette again another Luna Naster um, product this is the horizon face palette they sent this to me in PR a little bit ago but holy crap it's so good I'm going to be mixing two shades from this palette this like terracotta blush right here and then a little bit of this bronzer together I'm gonna keep this focused really high on like the tops of my cheeks and just kind of like quickly stamping with my brush if that makes sense I feel like that really helps just like press it into the skin and also make sure that it's not like the focal point of the makeup because the point of latte makeup is not to make blush the star um, but it's still there how pretty is that I mean, it's subtle, but it just ties it in. Oh, it's so good. Really, th this palette is phenomenal. For just a little bit of glow, a little highlight. I don't want to do anything crazy. Again, I still want to keep it very skin-like, but add a little bit of luminosity. We're going in with this Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush Highlight. So, so, so pretty. Again, Milani just like killing it with the complexion products. Definitely don't need a lot of this. Um, I'm just mixing it between my two ring fingers, and then I'm going to tap it on to 
the high points of my cheeks and then tapped just a little bit above my brow bone just added like a touch of glow and because it's like a peachier tone it blends in nicely with the blush and it doesn't look like blush highlight like it's all just like a very continuous blend okay so now we're gonna set everything that we've done so far I feel like with this look again to just make sure that it all like melts together it's very important to like set after every like chapter of this look so to speak I'm gonna be using this euphoria setting spray I've really been liking this the mister is somewhat like intense but I honestly don't really mind that it's not a mattifying setting spray but it also doesn't make your makeup look like super dewy either I feel like it does a really nice job of just keeping the finish of whatever like products you use beforehand I don't have a fan so we're just gonna make do with my hands although recently I have thought about getting a fan just for setting my makeup because you know being extra it's all right had to take a little second for a phone call but we're back but excuse the slightly different camera angle right, let's zoom on in and get ready for the next section of the look which is the eyes all right we're gonna start with brows first I'm gonna kind of speed through it but I want to show you like the little duo that I'm gonna be using this is the milk kush brow lamination gel I really and I know that this is a bold claim I think this might be the best lamination gel that I've ever tried this and the makeup by mario easily number ones for me and it's a lamination gel that you can use even after you have like face makeup on because it will not mess with your foundation it's not going to get like clumps of other product like stuck in your brows which i feel like a lot of other lamination gels do and then as far as the pencil this is like the Too faced like micro brow pencil i really like Too faced brow products um and i've been really enjoying this one recently so let's quickly just kind of go through my brows and quickly do them Quickly, just priming my eyes with the ColourPop Party Proof Eyeshadow Primer. I really like this primer. It's a great affordable option. And it's interesting because it almost kind of has the consistency of like a silicone primer. So I feel like it really just locks in the shadows that you apply afterwards. I feel like when I think of fall makeup, latte makeup, any sort of autumnal vibe makeup, I think of this palette. Natasha Denona Biba Palette. It is expensive, but it is so good. Mine looks a little weird because I originally had it displayed, not like in the sun, but in a space where like sun would shine in our room a lot. So it kind of like discolored the palette a little bit, but the shadows are still totally fine. I mean, look at just how pretty. This is truly one of the most perfect neutral palettes. You get a mix of mattes and shimmers in here. So many different beautiful like warmer tones. So first I'm gonna take this like warmer, almost yellow tone brown. It's in the shade Prairie. And I'm gonna just kind of messily like buff this into my crease. I feel like a slightly more yellow toned brown goes really, really well with this look. This doesn't have to be perfect. It is slightly smoky and like blown out. So you can be slightly messier with it. Natasha Denona mattes just blend like a dream. There is zero patchiness to them they're so soft no fallout as you can tell i am going pretty high up towards my brow but i saved that for when i have less product on the brush i'm going to take these two shades right here freckle and buff um, to add a little bit more warmth to specifically the outer corner Hopefully you've been able to tell, but as I've been blending it into my outer corner, I've also been taking whatever's left on the brush and just kind of messily dusting it onto my lid. Jumping back in with just a little bit more of Prairie. I feel like latte makeup is honestly not very difficult when it comes to the eyes. It's minimal like amount of color or minimal colors. Um, so I'm only pulling from a few pans, but it's just all about the blend. Nice, you get that subtle gradient effect. You can really see kind of the yellow tone brown to the more warm tone shade or shades i should say because we mixed a few so now with my finger i'm just going to dust a little bit of this color right here this is called shine i'm going to dust it right on the center of my lid to bring back just a little bit of light because i feel like with latte makeup it's not all matte there is like a little bit of glow you just strategically place it where you want it to be versus like a full glowy look which i feel like isn't very fall so i placed it just in the center of my lid and then kind of blend it upwards i really like this color too because it can either be like super super opaque if you pat it in like a bit more aggressively or it can kind of be like a scattered sparkle see that it just gives like a subtle 
little shimmer to the lid, a little glow. So as you move, it like catches the light. Similarly to what we did for the top half of my eye, for the lower lash line, I'm gonna jump in to Prairie first. I'm gonna line my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna use Buff to just kind of like smoke it out. This is a new brush that I have been playing with. It's from um, Dibs Beauty. I really, really like their brushes. I hope they come out with even more because the quality is fantastic. I'm gonna go in with the MAC Stack Mascara today. I really like the way this makes your lashes just look like super voluminous. It can become a lot pretty fast, so I do like to wipe off just a little bit of the excess product first, and then do just one singular coat, but a couple layers before it dries. Okay, so for lips, what I've been seeing as far as the trend is something very light, very glossy, kind of like milky. Something that's a nice like contrast to the eyes versus matching with like a darker or vampy fall lip. So what I'm gonna do is for lip liner, I'm gonna lightly line with the Huda Beauty uh, lip contour in the shade Terracotta. I'm gonna lightly smudge it out with my finger just so the lines aren't too harsh. I left the center pretty bare. So what I'm gonna fill in the rest of my lips with is this. I can't remember the exact name of this, but it's one of my favorite like drugstore products. It's one of the L'Oreal like gloss in balm products. It's basically a dupe for the Rare Beauty like liquid lip balm. So good, I have so many colors. And this is the shade 20 Celestial Blossom. It's a really nice pale pink. It honestly doesn't really have like that much color to it. It's basically clear. So I'm just going to apply this all over over the lips and allow the lip liner to kind of mix in with it. I'm gonna do one more round of setting spray, quickly fix my hair, and then we'll be back for final looks and thoughts. Okay, you guys, this is the final look for my take on the latte makeup trend. I honestly really love the way that this turned out. I'm obsessed with the eyes. I'm obsessed with the skin. One thing about underpainting is it might take a little bit longer, but your skin will look so good, especially in photos. I feel like my skin literally looks like airbrushed right now, like it has a filter on over it. And the eyes are just like super, super fall and everything that I love. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button down down below if you have not already. We're trying to reach 7,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you want to see more in-depth like chatty makeup tutorials like this, please, please, please let me know. I love filming them for you guys, but I want to make sure that you want to keep seeing them. Make sure to also follow me on all of my other social media networks. Outside of YouTube, I'm definitely the most active on Instagram and TikTok, but I'll have everything linked down below. Until I see you next, be safe, be well, have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next Sunday for my next video. Bye guys.